Hi guys, Vertus Education here with episode 13 of the HTML web programming tutorial series and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on where we left off and going over some additional forms of input. More specifically, in today's episode we're going to be showing you how to create radio buttons and check boss boxes. And most importantly, I want to go over the difference between the two of them because they are very different. Albeit they do look the same and to some people they may even feel the same. So let's just go ahead and uh, take a look at the difference between radio buttons and check boxes. So first and foremost we have check boxes. These essentially allow us to check different uh, objects you know for example if you had a ship uh, a shopping list you know you may want to tick off each item as you have them or something like that and you can select multiple uh, checkbox at uh, multiple checkboxes you know to say you've got multiple items or so on and so forth however with radio buttons they work in a relatively similar way however you can only choose one option with a radio button so for example if I go ahead and press number one and then try and press number two it's just going to go over to number two rather than number one and this is based on the uh, you know the radio button's name and you know you can see here down in check boxes that I can select as many as I want uh, you know and I can play around with it toggle them on off and so on and so forth so let's get into uh, creating these so first and foremost I'm just going to go over a uh, quick analysis of the code that I've written here so first and foremost we've got a uh, little input tags once again and inside of that we've defined the type of input you know using type equals and then typing in radio and then I just set some values and names up and put some text beside it and the same goes for checkboxes everything's relatively simple for here so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this so we have a blank canvas so we can get creating this so control s and then refresh. So, once again, whenever you're creating uh, radio buttons and checkboxes, you're always going to need to put these inside of some kind of form. You can see here that I've got my form tags from the previous episode, just like that. So, let's go ahead and start creating some uh, radio buttons. To do that, just type in the input tags, just like that. And I'm going to make two of these and you know make sure that you only use one and you do not close these off as they don't need to be so inside of the first input tag I'm going to type in type equals and then I'm going to go ahead and type in radio and I'm going to do the same for the second one type equals radio now if I go ahead and refresh here and I try and play around with this you will notice that my radio buttons are not working as I initially intended I can select multiple of them which isn't good now the reason it's doing that is because usually radio buttons come in groups and then it does the selection based on that group whereas these they do not have a group so they just go ahead and think they're independent and not part of a group and just let you select you know just the one so if we, if we really want to group these all we gotta do is go ahead and set the name so I'm gonna do this name equals radio button uh, sorry name equals radio just like that I'm gonna do the same for the second one name equals quotation marks radio if I go ahead and refresh they should now work together perfectly fine now we can go ahead and put text next to these like you know to say this is an option or whatever you want to so to do that just next to the input tags just go ahead and type in some text whether that's a header an image or whatever you want but in this case I'm just gonna say option one and the second one I'm gonna go ahead and type option two so you can see uh, you know where they are so option one's here and option two is there and you can see that when I select uh, one option the other is unhighlighted and you know it uses the one that you clicked so let's go ahead and uh, create some check boxes now to do that just go ahead and use the input tags once again input type equals and then check box that's it I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this now and we should actually have a working checkbox however it's always good practice to set up the name so it actually works together, uh, works together and you have the options that you want and you can see these working down here so let's just go ahead and put some text next to these option 1 option 2 and I'm just gonna go ahead and make a third one just like this 
So there we go, we've got three little check boxes. We now need to set up the name for them. So name equals and then check box. And I can do the same on each of these if I wanted to. Now it's always good to go ahead and put these into groups, you know, using the name. Uh, the reason for that being whenever you're creating an actual form, you know, you want to get that information together. And most importantly, you want to be able to reference these elements inside of JavaScript so you can, uh, you know, create the functionality. You know, for example, if you were purchasing an item from uh, some kind of retail website, you know, you may want to select it, you know, so, you know, the server actually knows that you want that item and, you know, you do this using this way. And, you know, you'd add some kind of action to the element once you go ahead and press submit or likewise. So it's pretty much everything I want to go over in this episode. Here you can see we've gone over radio buttons, check boxes, and the difference between them. So stay tuned for the next episode where I will be going over some more input types. So thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.